Last week, the Taliban murdered a comedian. His name was Nazar Mohammed, and he made up funny songs on TikTok. They forced him into a car, tortured, and then executed him. A comedian. A thing like that hits a little close to home for me. But I didn't have to worry about being dragged till I'm dead behind a Toyota Tacoma. Have a little perspective about the stuff we howl about here. I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry your professor said something you didn't like. That won't be a problem with the Taliban because you're not allowed to go to school. In Saudi Arabia, grown women can be jailed for doing the kind of things we think of as routine without the permission of a male guardian. China rounds you up if you're a, the wrong religion and puts you in camps. More children in Burkina Faso work than are in school. Only 5% of Burundians have electricity. The homicide rate in Honduras is eight times what it is here. The inflation rate in Venezuela is 2,719%. The Philippines, in the last five years, has put to death 27,000 low-level drug dealers. <laughs> in North Korea, people starve to death. If you think America is irredeemable, turn on the news or get a passport and a ticket on one of those sketchy airlines that puts its web address on the plane. There's a reason Afghan mothers are handing their babies to us. And... And we should take them. Americans, right now, should take in Afghan refugees into their homes and into their neighborhoods. And I'm sure everyone who just clapped is thinking the same thing. Yes, someone who isn't me should definitely do that. <laughs> but that doesn't make us the bad guys. We're not the bad guys. Oppression is what we were trying to stop in Afghanistan. We failed, but any immigrant will tell you we've largely succeeded here, and yet the overriding thrust of current woke ideology is that America is rotten to the core, irredeemably racist from the moment it was founded, and so oppressive, sexist, and homophobic, we can't find a host for the Oscars or Jeopardy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sure you heard the new Jeopardy guy is out because he said boobies in 2014. <laughs> And this is where your new Afghani roommates that you took in will, will, <laughs> will prove so valuable because they'll turn to you and say, have you people lost your minds? <laughs> have you ever heard of honor killings? Public beheadings? Throwing gay men off of roofs? Arranged marriages to minors? state-sanctioned wife-beating, female genital mutilation, marriage by capture? Because we have. What's the lesson of Afghanistan? Ask your maid. Ask your Uber driver. Ask the Asian woman giving you a massage. She'll tell you, this place is Shangri-La, and not just because she works in a place called Shangri-La. <laughs> America? may not be the country of your faculty lounge and Twitter dreams, but no one here tries to escape by hanging on to an airplane. No, we wait till we're inside the plane.